A zombie cannot bite you if it doesn't have a head. Oleg wants to say hello. Hey, Oleg. Oh. Good talk, Ed. Good talk. And hello everyone, Greg Scott Bailey here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Seven Days to Die series on Alpha 19, now point three, 19.3. Um, for those watch my channel, I did do a series called uh, Live and Let Die. However, uh, I uh, apparently did the die part and not the live. Um, so we are starting again another series in that same world, West Zhujiang uh, territory, which was built off of live and let die, all one word, all underscore, or sorry, all lowercase letters. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and start. Just a regular series, everything's default with the settings except for airdrops are marked on. We're just gonna go ahead and do um, just kind of the basics for now. And if we need to make it more difficult, if we need to increase some sort of parameters, we'll do that later. Right now, I just wanna play. I, um, I got an eye infection, so uh, not, not feeling like doing the uh, um, the camera on and on Twitch um, and showing everybody the the big huge red knot above my eyeball. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and uh, do a camera off kind of thing. Um, so gonna assume everybody knows the basic uh, basics about the game. So I'm not going to worry about walking through some of this stuff. Uh, let's just mark this stuff over here. Why not? Okay, uh, but we're going to press on. We're going to kind of follow the same parameters, though, before where we're going to uh, build our base and our, our our home base and our horde base as one. We're not going to split them up. So uh, let's go ahead and get all the basics done, and we'll move on and find a spot for our base. some wood we got some uh stone to get us uh, started our last little step here is to do the uh old upgraded frame and a campfire on it and if anybody has seen the live and let die series uh i think i actually know where i'm at i, I if if i know if i am where i think i am i think if, if there's two businesses up there, like two um, two sets of businesses with three things, eh, maybe not. Maybe I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, so Trader is 1.1 kilometers north. Let's go ahead and uh, head that way and scout out this town. Oh, Edgar. Edgar gets to be our first kill. But boy, a zombie cannot bite you if it doesn't have a head. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I think this is yeah, this is the town uh, that we uh, we ha we had done some of this in Live and Let Die. So uh, the trader that it is giving me up there is likely Trader Joel. Um, so we're we're pretty much in the same area. Let's see if yeah, as soon as you access the car. Um, you know, why not? I'm going to go to that same spot then, if that's the case. Uh, we, we have points to spend too, so before I get too crazy... Oh, bunny rabbit. We got our good bunny karma already. Let's do a minor 69er. Let's do pummel Pete. I've been doing clubs on another game, and I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying it, so let's go ahead and do that. Sexual T-Rex and pack mule. And our next point we'll spend in... Um, uh, something in like food or otherwise. Lead the way, bunny rabbit. Lead the way. Or not. Hmm. 
Well, Joel will be there in just a moment. Old Edgar wants to say hello. How you doing, Edgar? All right. Good talk, Edgar. Good talk. <laughs> Joel, I'm home. Oh, let's check. Uh... All right, chemistry station is destroyed. Workbench is untouched. Oh, well, yeah, area it's destroyed. Cement just mixer destroyed. Oh, ooh, ooh, the forge works. All right, we're we're probably gonna get some early iron going there. All right, hey Joel, your forge works. Thank God, a customer. I thought you might be one of the dead. Uh, yeah, I know that feeling. I know it. Uh, let's see, Tech Junkie Volume Six, Charge Strike. This technique gives you twenty-five percent chance for regular and fifty percent chance for power attacks to instantly charge stun batons. Eh, we're not using stun batons, but it's there. Uh, puffer coats. Winter's coming. Uh, don't get caught without uh, the best coat to keep you warm. Learn how to craft puffer coats. Cool. I don't think I've ever actually done that. Oh, uh, let's put a paper in there. It's 30-day loot respawn, but uh, why the heck not, right? And look at that. He's got some paper waiting for us here as well. So if we remember uh, day 31 or 32, we'll, uh, we'll check those again. All right, Joel. Oh no, there's a bunny rabbit getting hurt out there. Job for someone of your talents. Great. I look forward to seeing you again. Oh, I hate hearing that out there. It's got bellows already. Ooh, he's got oh, and a cement mixer. Oh man, we need to make some some cashola. We get a cement mixer right away. That'd be great. Chemistry station schematic. It's got a lot of schematics actually. Steel tools schematic. Man. If we ain't got what you're looking for, we can get it. Oh, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. No. Oh. Oh, it's heartbreaking. You, you, hate, you hate to see it, but you also shouldn't waste the meat. So, sorry, fella. Okay, so uh, we know we're going to be setting up over here. Uh, I'm gonna, do, like I said, I'm gonna do the same spot. Uh, but let's go ahead and get a couple of these buried supplies quests out of the way. Uh, we're gonna try to powerhouse through some levels. Ooh, oh, oh, speaking of meats, damn. There it is. Just lob that arrow towards him. Uh, biker zombie over there. Nope, this is my deer. Mine. See, not bad when you put point, at least one point right away into uh, into clubs. With the other game I was talking about, I, I I went up to four out of five on Pummel Pete right away, and God did wonders. Uh, really did, really did a great job on giving me um, a leg up right away. All right. Let's see what we could find here. Old Marlene here. I think I think this one's Marlene. I know Arlene. I'm Marlene. I'm Charlene. Chew your gum. Yeah. All right. Nothing around. Okay. Let's do some digging.
And there we go. After, gosh, we were digging for quite a while, actually. Uh, boiled meat recipe. Uh, why not? Why not? Uh, got some reasonable stuff here. Grandpa's moonshine. Um, let's see. That's good for sun resist. Uh, melee damage. 400%. Uh, we'll happily take that. That's good. This guy first. Bow second. Oh, stamina. And Edgar third. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. What in the world? Did did a poor bunny rabbit just blow itself up? Oh, that's right. Oh, the poor little thing. All right, we're gonna investigate further here in just a second. Again, we not one. Okay, let's not let's not join him though. Maybe right there. Oh, there he is. Okay, um, can we do this? <laughs> is it safe? <sighs> okay, I appreciate the bunny karma, but can, can the bunnies get a little bit of it too? My goodness. Poor little fellas. Hey, jar of honey right away. I'll uh, certainly take that. We know how fast I uh, I tend to get infected. Howdy. Howdy. You've made my day. And herbal and antibiotics, but... Oh, and it's four of them, too. Let's, let's get the book. I think that's more valuable. Wasteland Treasures, Volume 7, Sinks. So many zombies and so few bullets. Here's a trick I learned about harvesting more lead and brass from sinks and plumbing. Awesome. All right, let's take another buried supplies. This one's south. Friend, God bless you. Oh, bless you, sir. Let's read that book. All right. Here, Joel, have a pine cone. All right, so we are pretty good on the first day as far as, you know, you know, we got some, uh, got some leveling. What'd I say? Oh, it was kind of the next point into. Maybe Iron Gut? Yeah, why not? Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over and we're gonna get our base started. And then that'll be it for day one. We just want to keep it simple. You know, we want to build up, uh, our resources. So put some shades on right now. Why not? There was some, like, random zombie sleeping here last time, last game. But not this time, I guess. Car engine right away. Nice. Knuckle wraps and a hood. Um, you know, why not? <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, if you guys noticed, uh, I am rocking a, a different, uh, different character than, than Polly, my, my cat girl. Um, I think until somebody can help me actually get, uh, modded in cat ears and tail, we'll, uh, we'll avoid the, the, the sunburn skin, uh, Polly, uh, techno lost my, my cat girl. All right. Uh, where were we set up here? I believe it was just, just over here, right? Or is it over here? There was the house, it's the rock. Yeah, it was in this kind of valley area, right? I just, I ended up cutting the trees. <laughs> Doesn't work. Well, either that or didn't hit him correctly. That's all right. Let's keep going. Okay, I think we've got our basic spot 
right about here. Like I said, we'll we'll try to mirror. Oh, you know, actually, we got a lead and a iron vein here. Let's let's put the base then over. Darn. There's north. Because uh, if you guys remember correctly, I didn't want to mine underneath the base. That was at least the uh, the one thing I was not wanting to do. Because I feel like if you start doing a mine underneath your base, it's going to mess with the, uh, the pathing of the zombies. And one of the things I screwed up with the base was I, I, I screwed up the pathing to the, uh, the, the doors and the kind of the bars where I wanted to do my melee damage and uh, and they end up proceeding to the doors and knocking them down fast and I was not prepared for that and then I did something stupid I burned myself to death <laughs> so it happens but uh, yeah let's go ahead and go um, we'll go north here what I think I'm going to do is I am not going to dig either because that was a very time um, time consuming tactic but I'm I'm still gonna dig like the the poles like the where the structural support's gonna be for now. So let's just do that. Doing over there, buddy. <laughs> Dodging arrows. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, oops, I'm short by one. Let's, let's work on that. What's up, dude, Bob? Lob. <laughs> oh, we're actually getting low on arrows. <laughs> he says as he misses. Oh, good grief. I gotta watch those falls, too. I don't want to sprain an ankle. Alright. Alright, two arrows left, and we're going into the night. <laughs> Uh, oh, I can make some more. Okay, 34 more. That's that's a little bit better. We didn't find like a pistol or a blunderbuss yet, but uh, that's all right for now. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get a uh, spot for campfire, bedroll. In this case, bedroll just in general so we don't... Oh, there's a chicken. <laughs> the bedroll so we don't... Um, um, have any spawned zombies around here. I don't think it matters that much, though. Uh, campfire. And then hopefully, uh, uh, by tomorrow, we'll, uh, we'll actually go inside of a POI and do a quest 
and uh, so we'll probably do these nearby houses like we did before, and we'll get a get a cooking pot, cook a grill if we can. Um, we do have an iron node and lead there, so we can get iron right away. We'll go put it uh, iron and clay into the uh, the forge over at the trader uh, fairly quickly. So it'll be day two that we're already going to be smelting stuff like that. Um, most of the traders I've I've noticed have been few and far between when it comes to uh, actually giving you working um, stuff like the forge and the workbench, uh, those uh, utility uh, closets and stuff like that. Closets? <laughs> equipment? Yeah, there we go. That's a much better word. <laughs> uh, that kind of equipment. Uh, um, but all right. Uh, and campfire is done. And we'll put that there. Awesome sauce. All right, uh, what have we got? 2016. You know what? We got time to, to do the iron right now. And I think there's more over there, which which always makes me wonder when when you generate worlds from seeds, does it does it also copy the because um, it copies where at least where the buildings are and stuff like that. But does it copy stuff like the mining nodes like this? I I don't remember if there was this much iron and lead right next to the spot. I think the nodes are there, but the actual ore, like whatever it is, is different. Uh, it appears that way, at least. There we go. See? Yeah. We'll just remember those are there if we want to get iron in close proximity, but I'm sure we'll have a, a much better mining source far from here we don't have to worry about uh being too close uh all right can we make it in time because one of the things i forgot to do is leave stuff in a storage box at the base <laughs> it's it's not too far from the trader but we we are likely going to get kicked out doing this all the time i'm always like doing things last minute i'm sure i'm not alone though <laughs> All right, uh, where is all the iron here? We'll put half the clay in and let's just do, do that much for now. I know other people are used to like statistically like how much everything burns and the, what the ratios are, but I, I still haven't committed that to memory. I don't know, maybe this gameplay will, will actually do that. You know, see how long one piece of iron takes to smelt, how long one piece of clay takes to smelt. And if it's like one per second, then, you know, if you got 120 pieces, then that's 120 seconds or two minutes. So you just remember to put two minutes worth of wood in there or something. You know, th those are the things you could do to uh, efficiently burn. But do you know what? Trader Joel could deal with the, uh, the screamers. Uh, we, we don't... We don't want to worry about them, so we'll, we'll smelt to our heart's content over there. And storage chest. All right. And let's just dump everything for now. Let's let's not even worry about carrying anything but the arrows. Now, that's all I need. It's just just the arrows. And, well, and and maybe maybe some can of food. Uh, canned food is good, but, but that's all I need. And and I don't know, maybe maybe we want the wood, you know, for projects later in the in the stone. But the wood, the stone, the the fibers, and and the food and the arrows. But that's all I need. <laughs> Anybody that's a fan of the jerk with Steve Martin. Uh, but there we go. Uh, we got uh, temporary home sweet home for now. Um, if anything happens through the night. I will, uh, I will, of course, add that to the recording. Uh, if not, uh, I want to thank everybody for stopping on by episode one of whatever this series is going to be called. <laughs> Appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Post your comments below. Any suggestions, thoughts, ideas, go ahead and toss them down there. Uh, if you would rather email me a suggestion, a question, uh, your thoughts and ideas, email me at thegsb5k at gmail.com. 
I'm Greg Scott Bailey. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And as always, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>